even when you drive a Tesla car, it could be that some components of the motor get too hot. And that's what this video and schematic is all about. It is a sensor to give out a signal, and then I mean a red LED that will burn, light up, when the uh, temperature of the motor gets too hot, too high. Anyway, I've used very easy to find components, cheap components, the BC547, I've used it two times here, and I've used a diode, say a simple diode, silicon diode, as a heat sensor. Of course we know that when a diode is heated, uh, it changes its resistance, and especially its resistance in the barrier layer. So, that means that when we heat up uh, a silicon transistor, the resistance can go down from, say, uh, 5 mega ohm or so to approximately 500,000 ohms. And that also gives a, a voltage drop, at least when you mount it into a detector circuit. So, here's the complete schematic. Uh, well, it's completely clear that when we, we change the voltage drop here in this sensitive circuit, this is a Darlington, uh, it will have an effect on the light emitting diode. That means that when the diode is heated up to a certain temperature, the light emitting diode will start to burn light up. Completely logical and by the way germanium uh, diodes are much more sensitive to uh, temperature changes. But I have used by purpose a silicon diode because of its stability. And I've used here a 2 meter wire, you can see it here, because normally uh, such a detector diode must be mounted under the hood of the motor. Be it a Tesla or say a normal motor. And here is the test circuit. I've tested it over and over and it worked between 9 volts and approximately 18 volts. Uh, that uh, of course tells that you have to align such a circuit to the voltage where you want to use it. And especially important is that it also works when the battery, say the standard car battery of 12 volts is depleted. So, that was more or less all to tell. Here we have 11.5 volts. Let's go to 12 volts. When a carbon, sorry, not a lead S battery is charged, we are on approximately 14 volts. So, this is the situation. And uh, you must, of course, align. That's what I wanted to show the voltage where it wants to work. So, now we are on approximately 14 volts and our wasted sensor on room temperature. So, with the potentiometer you can switch out that LED so that it doesn't light up any longer. But now I'm gonna heat up with my soldering iron, uh, the temperature sensitive diode. It's a completely classical diode anyway. So let's heat it up. 
and look on the effects on how the circuit works and whether the LED will light up or not. You can surely see now that the soldering iron is approximately red hot or orange hot. The diode is heated very much here and the LED lights up. So that's good. That's the aim of this circuit. Of course now the uh, diode cools down because it is a silicon transistor there are no uh, say bad effects when it cools down. When it was a germanium transistor it could be that such a germanium not transistor diode that such a germanium diode was damaged but a silicon diode cannot be easily damaged by too much heat. So heat up that diode again LED lights up again, but not very fierce. Anyway, let's try it again. It's important that it works. So, here again, heating up that diode. It always takes some time. Just like when you have a, a motor that is heated up too fierce and of course the heat must say enter the diode. It doesn't light up so fierce anyway. Let's try it again. Set the potentiometer to a somewhat other value. Do the whole uh, the whole circuit again. It shows, of course, the properties of the circuit. And of course. Uh, I'm looking at my camera. I cannot say uh, see that whether my soldering iron is completely close to the to the uh, uh, to the to the diode, the detection diode. But you can surely see that now here it's very hot and the LED lights up fierce. So that is all what I wanted to show and you can set the sensitivity here. Uh, it also means that for instance perhaps important to show that such a circuit also works when a, a, a normal car battery or lead acid battery of 12 volts is completely depleted. So let's go to a completely depleted automotive battery. That's approximately 10 volts. Let's see what happens to the circuit when uh, we have now the same situation. Uh, this circuit and a uh, diode that is heated by a too much heated motor. Of course uh, at first my uh, soldering iron must get orange hot. You 
as you surely see it here, orange hot. The colors differ, by the way, f from what I see and what my camera um, tells. It looks a kind of purple, but at the same time it is orange. So, anyway, and you can surely see that the LED indicates very properly that the diode is very, very hot. Cools down now, anyway. So I think it's a properly working circuit, a good working circuit that you can use uh, <coughs> in all kinds of applications. So let me show the schematic again, and that was more or less all. Indicator for, say, a hot motor or whatever. Pen over somewhat. At first I tried to make this with one transistor, that didn't work. So I had to use this Darlington. And I've used by purpose here two meter wire and say when it could be that other electromagnetic influences influences uh, influence the way how the diode works. I've not tested that, but anyway, in such a case you could use here a capacitor of 100 nanofarad and even I've also not tested that a capacitor of 100 nanofarad to ground say when pulses coming out of any uh, other electronic circuit influence the measuring results